Yo, 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 what's up Banta fam? Welcome to yet another masterclass. In this series, I'm gonna be teaching you my secrets, my strategies, and my tools that I use to help me achieve this in a very short period of time. First thing I need to do, I need to smash the like button, and then I need to smash the subscribe button. And remember, if you are opening any new accounts, make sure to use the links below in the description, as that will qualify you for any giveaways or any specials that we have on the channel, as well as showing love and support. Now, now, we are going to be speaking about candlesticks and we have created this new series on candlesticks and reason being is there is a lot of information that goes into these simple little candles. With that said, this series is sponsored by Barbit. So what are candlesticks? Now this was formed all the way back in the 1900s from Japanese rice traders. And what's amazing about these candlesticks, you know, you see them every day on the charts, but these actually give you a picture of something of what happened in a, in a specific amount of time. Now, what I mean by that is we see this basic candle every day, but we don't know that the whole day bulls and bears were fighting as much as they could to try and make that candle green or red. So by looking at that picture, there's actually a very big story behind that. And a very big story to say that you know, a lot happened and I need to understand how it happened and why it happened. Now, if we jump on here, I wanna give you a basic view that we need to understand, right, is when, if we have a green candle, we obviously get green candles and we get red candles, right? And when you jump in and you have a look that a candle, when it starts off in a specific time frame you always start off at an opening price, okay? And if we close above that price, the opening price, we will then have a green candle. If we close below the opening price, we're then going to have a red candle. Now, if you have a look over here, you could see very much that Bitcoin opened in the region of 44,800, right? We then try to rally upwards, the bulls. The bulls tried to make this candle green and they tried to rally it up and we went all the way up to the region of 47,000, which is like 5% up from the opening price. But then the bears replied and they brought the price all the way back down to 43,000. The bulls try to fight back. They try to bring it up, but they only managed to close the candle at 44,400, which meant it was below the opening price. And that's why we managed to form a red candle. Now, do you see how this was actually a big fight? Because this is a four hour candle, guys. And if you know in the four hour, you know there was actually four one hour candles in that as well. And in those hours, the bulls and bears were also trying to fight to try to get the candle green and try to actually get it red. So you want to understand that whatever the size is between your open price to your closing price, you get bodies, and then you'll always get your tails where be where price went in that time, but it didn't close. But where it went in that time to the upward side will give you a local high and then to the downward side will give you your low as well. Now that one closed red, right? Then if I show you this next example over here, which is this green candle here, you could see that we opened at around 45,900. We then had the bears try and they tried to reclaim their way down and went all the way down to 44,900. We then shot back up, the bulls took it to 46,500, but then the bears tried, 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 and the candle ended up closing green, which means the bulls actually won that candle. So when I look at these candles and I see a green, I actually call that a bull. And when I see the red ones, I actually call that a bear. Why? Because the, bull, the bulls won to make that candle green. They won, they won, they lost, they lost, they won, they lost. And you see how it's com continuously a battle between these guys where we jump in, remember the order books, guys. It's, it's always going to be sellers and buyers. It's always gonna be guys, the more buyers there are in the market, you know, uh, then sellers at the specific time frame, whatever candle we're looking at, you know, we'll end up having a green candle. And it's always gonna be a fight between, is there more money on the selling side? Is there more money on the buying side? Remember, guys, um, Bybit has sponsored this. If you're not a part of Bybit, look to use the link below in the description. They're fantastic, and I love the new uh, spot setup. It looks really great. Um, but jumping back here, guys, you know, where we understand that in this four-hour, 
in the simple candle. There was a lot more lower time frames. There was lots of five minute candles, lots of 15 minute candles, and there was a big fight be between them. So it's very important to understand just how the candle works, how the closing price works, and how you just get a simple um, way of a green and an actual red candle. So this helps show you the amount of motion that was going through those times in the actual markets. And what I mean by that is if you get really aggressive candles, it's showing you the market's quite emotional, right? There's a lot happening in that specific time, and it just shows you a simple indication between the bulls and the bears. So now you have a basic understanding of candlesticks, right? Now, what are candlestick patterns? Now, if you take a bunch of these candles, you know that they can actually form patterns, and these patterns can actually repeat themselves very much. Now, why would they repeat? Because remember, this market is driven off of emotion, and re emotion tends to repeat itself, right? And by understanding these patterns, they will help you identify that there's a possible top in play, there's a possible bottom in play, uh, that there's a continuous trend that's playing out, meaning I should continue, I should hold my trade, or I should be getting out, it's really not stopping right now. And then we have a massive reversal uh, pattern as well, which can give you that key indication where something's been going down quite a bit, and now with this pattern's playing out, and out of this pattern can actually be a reversal and get you in early, because that can be the bounce point in the actual market. Now remember, these patterns can play out in all different time frames. That's why understanding in the basics of them is very important. Now there's four massive uh, stages that you need to understand about these patterns and how they play. Now we will always start off in a trend. If we are trending to the upward side, we can trend, 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 we can then enter a pattern. And once we have entered a pattern, that pattern can then play out, we can break out and get back into trend. Now it's very important to understand that these patterns, once they have played out, they were done. Now you need to identify that we are in trend again and there could possibly be another pattern. And remember, each pattern is slowly giving you a little hint, the same way that candlesticks were giving you that little hint that there was something going on there and it can give you something by understanding a reversal is coming, continuation, something is actually coming. So guys, that was the basic understanding of this. I'm gonna be going a lot more into depth in the next videos, giving you a bit more of the strategies because there's a lot of information to get by. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I will see you all on the next show.